Ghost stories and superpowered teenagers, what could go wrong? This is Movies with Mitch. A town plagued by death and superstition that all leads back to Eel Marsh Manor. Young Arthur Kipps investigates the house and why so many mysterious deaths are tied to it. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. Very well acted and a surprisingly good story that though follows a typical ghost story formula, works around its drawbacks and engages the audience to make it entertaining. At times, the backstory and plot seem to be too convoluted and stretched thin, but is made up with its great direction. What she wants is unknown, but she always comes back. The specter of darkness. The woman in black. So I give the woman in black with a runtime of just over an hour and a half a B minus. Who's making that sound? Yes, what is that? Please. All right, dude, we're going inside. Steve, wait up. Matt, look at this. Holy. Three high schoolers that constantly do everything in front of the camera find themselves with a new set of skills that are out of this world. But when one is pushed a little too far, his backlash is devastating. This is my theory, though, is that it's like a muscle. Watch this. Dude, holy crap. That's why I think we're getting stronger, you know? She thinks it's so it. No yes, it was the black guy this time. <laughs> Another found footage type reality based film involving shaky cam and jump scenes. However, this movie does not go down the horror movie path that most movies of this type do. Incredibly well acted and well written, this movie was a surprising good watch, but did tend to drag in the beginning. Listen to me. We can't screw Wait, around with this. It's too this dangerous. What? Andrew, it's what? not what a game. Andrew! Stop this right now! So I give Chronicle with a runtime of just under an hour and a half a B plus. Now it's time for a Movies with Mitch movie trivia giveaway brought to you by Brewers Restaurant and Sports Bar. Now pay close attention because here's your question. What was the name of the found footage horror movie of 1999 about a witch in the woods? So the first person to post the correct answer on our KYMA Facebook page will get a gift certificate to Brewer's Restaurant and Sports Bar. Then tune in next time for our reviews of Safe House and The Vow. But until then, I'm Mitch Pompayek for News 11 saying go out and watch a movie. Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Achoo!